start with our nine oh, gladiators uh, this evening. Oh, okay. Well, um, I guess five lights and uh, and no, okay. And away we go. And I've got a terrible camera angle. Thank you, Gabe. It looks like Everstat's got uh, the decent spot he's still ahead, and the camera angle's terrible. There we go. Finally, just so it looks like uh, Ocean Two's going to try and go down the inside of Everstat into turn one. He's going to try and push the out uh, McLaren wide. He actually gets pushed by himself. As, uh, as the Alpha and the McLaren, they battle and he gets cut ahead and that allows his teammate, uh, Stella Henke, to get ahead as well. So terrible start, the Alpine trying, trying to come out of the McLaren as well, and Tipsy Bob, who's made up three positions uh, at the start. So, Everson is behind both Alfa Romeos, he is going to be... Snelly's yeah, going to try to go defence now. Ocean Chief and Snelly do work together, but unfortunately, they're too far back there to try to the blocking manoeuvre. And that means Everson will get that P2 now. Pretty shit today. Stella Henke, Stella Henke's going to try right behind he's going to try and go to the inside of the mclaren uh, into the chicane he doesn't pull it off he actually gets oh, close nice for the title or it indeed is ahead of eversnax in the title so um yeah good moves there by the alphas and now eversnax is going to under pressure for the for the rest of the race by not being in the drs of ocean chief i think bomb on there and uh, move on tipsy bob down the straight so that's uh see there i'm gonna go on board with ed and watch this action up ahead from his point of view as you can see bowman and tipsy bob there it is oh he said that whole ed has had this go Evasive. Makes it off that corner, and the McLaren has regained his position, and now will be uh, trying to get that position back. But it looks like Eversnax with his superior pace. Is, uh, take. Well, no, it's changed. Eversnax has gone into the sand. Every time I've gone away from Eversnax today, something has catastrophe happened. Catastrophe for the McLaren to the shadow realm. But uh, it looks like um, Stella Henke is going to try and fight back and boost it. He's going to try and block. Is Bush going to try and block him down? He's in contact oh. and the Alfa Romeo has been spun out. We had two spins. Eversnax is going to sail fast and be like, ha, I did the Stop same on. thing. Well, so, well, oh, oh, oh boosted. My God, we, numero spin, numero toi. I can't speak French. Toi. And oh, it's the The beginning of sector two is like a short run where you're flat oh, out there. Oh, there goes Snelly into the wall. The Snellstar. Did he live? He did live. He's got no front wing. There it is, so... Oh, that's another one. And another one. Bites of dust. No. Good day worked out for Tipsy Bob. Slap those inters on. No, he's not. He's electing to go, obviously, to the medium tires again. There's that front wing. Uh, I, I love Cody's attention to detail, too, in that one. Over about three or four seasons now, yeah. they have... Oh, and it's just literally pasting the, the animation over the... It's, Bro, guys, come on. It takes you five seconds to cut that yeah. out. No front wing change there for Ocean Chief. Should be in and out. Actually, it should be ahead. Both boosters also come in in the background. So he's elected to do the same thing the Chief has. What's up ahead there? There it is. And that's boosted, is it? Yes, it is, I think. Who's off the track on the Shakalaka? There's Shaka. So. Attention later into the corner because you know you're never going to lock up your own tires. And he comes there. McLaren, never mind talking to me about brakes, uh, brake buyers and whatever. The McLaren is comfortably ahead. Is the Haas going to do a lovely switch back again? We will have a see. <laughs> here we go. He's about to overtake the Alphamere with DRS. He's not even totally overtake. He's that confident. He knows he's got it in the bag. And uh, now he's got to pull up three seconds, which is not an easy no. time. Two tenths. Oh, man. Eversnax holds off the unstoppable force, meets the unstoppable unmovable object, and Eversnax wins. The Italian Grand Prix. Have a snacks to snacks for me. There you go, mate. Congratulations, have a snacks. You are the Italian Grand Prix winner in Imola. Check that champagne. It's all yours.